Hey everybody, welcome back to Foil Fridays. This is Tucker from MacKiteboarding.com. And today we are finally, finally, gonna show some love to GoFoil. It is long, long, long overdue. It's one of our oldest foil brands in our shop. And we almost never give them any love on Foil Fridays channel or any kind of our uh, reviews or anything like that. Um, so sorry, GoFoil. It's about time we get and start talking about some of your product. Um, they make phenomenal product. I, I think everybody just kind of knows that, so we just haven't addressed it. But uh, they've got some exciting new products coming. So we'll talk you through some of this stuff. It's a little bit different than some of their past classic models. Um, you know, there's more to talk about, I would say, you know, especially for you more experienced riders. You know, looking for something different than just your basic, great, lightweight, stiff surf foil. You know, if you're looking for extra speed or performance, especially for winging, uh, downwinding, uh, or just high performance, uh, high, high speed riding, um, then these are gonna have some options for you. So what we have here are the new NL series and P180 from GoFoil. NL series uh, is their new series of wings. It stands for Next Level. Um, really, these things are designed for the highest performance riding, really pushing the boundaries of what's possible in foiling. And some of their top riders, who are some of the best riders in the industry, you know, had their, their R&D input on this. They're riding these, doing some crazy stuff. Um, so if you're, you're into riding fast, getting lots of pumping performance, and really looking to get you know, the most performance out of your high aspect wings, this is gonna be an awesome option, and we'll talk through some of the, the reasons why they're so good in a moment. Um, next, we have the P-Series. P180 stands for pump. Um, really, this wing is designed for pumping performance. Um, so downwind racing, you know, if you're doing boat, uh, wake riding and you're just pumping for days doing tricks pumping around or if you're doing dock starts and you're kind of that next level where yeah you can dock start but you can't go for a mile this thing will take your your dock starting game to the next level um, even though it's called the p-series this is the p-180 um, you know kind of just laying out here these these three wings look fairly similar so we'll talk you through some of the differences and why you might mount one over the other um, and, and how they perform in this overview and review. Um, so I'm gonna start with the NL series because these are my absolute favorite wings from GoFoil to date. Um, love the classic series when they first came out. Awesome surf wings, sup, uh, sup surfing wings. Um, then the GL series came out and it's like, oh man, these things are higher aspect, they're faster, they have better pumping performance. You know, the turns are just a little bit more raw and, and require more finesse, you know, for that next level of riding. And really these NL series take it a step further. Um, so for me, I'm just kind of an average surf foiler, prone surf foiler. Um, I really can't access the performance on these in our kind of waves. We get lots of slopey, smaller waves. And for me to really ride these wings, I kind of got to step up a level from what I would normally ride size wise. Um, so for me, I'm just not at the level where I can appreciate these in the surf quite yet. Um, I shouldn't say that. I appreciate them a lot, but for me, the GL series are more in my speed range and with their aspect ratio and thickness, I'm just you know more comfortable in that um, speed range and banking hard turns and stuff. These you know, require a little bit more speed than I typically carry with our waves. Um, I would love to be able to, but <laughs> uh, that's just the way it is. But uh, that being said, foil, wing foiling, these wings are my absolute favorite from GoFoil. They are super fast. When you're ripping a turn at those kind of speeds, you want something that you can rely on that's, that's not going to skip or stutter, um, something that you can really push into and take a hard arc and carve a nice hard arc you know, with power and speed. Um, these allow you to do that. They've got insane glide. Once you reach kind of that, that speed level with these, 
it's almost hard to slow them down. They're so darn fast. They glide so far, so well. You can just lock into that downwind swell and just continue to cruise, you know? And the same thing for, you know, doing transitions or jibes, tacks. Um, they just cruise right through that. They carry so much speed. They carry the momentum so far. Um, they're phenomenal. So for that reason, uh, these are my favorite wing foiling wings. Wing foiling is definitely my new addiction. So I spend a lot of time out there on these. Um, the 220 for me was more of a light winding wing. You know, um, it's got enough lift on the low end. If you know what you're doing, pumping with your wing and pumping up on your foil, you know, you can really get these started in, in pretty mediocre wind. Um, the 190 is my go-to once it hits, you know, mid to upper teens, the 190 is that, you know, next step in terms of speed and maneuverability, just a little bit smaller. Um, primarily, you're just looking at going to higher aspect, a little thinner. So if we lay these on top of one another, you'll see they're really about the same wingspan, but you're maintaining, or, uh, but you're, you're jumping down a size in terms of total surface area. So higher aspect, that means your speed range grows, your efficiency grows, they glide further, higher top speeds. Um, and really they're, for their wingspan, their big wingspan, they bank and roll into turns impressively well. I mean, it blew my mind the first time I rode them, like, oh, big wingspan, you know, it's gonna yaw, but the roll is gonna be a little bit delayed and, and you gotta plan it kind of in your mind and roll into it and kind of exaggerate and, or not exaggerate, I should say, but a anticipate taking a progressive arc in the turn. But man, these things are really impressive um, in the rolling turns as well, so that's, I don't know what secret sauce they got on them, but it works really well. Um, the smaller sizes, awesome for higher speed riding. Don't have any with me here today, um, but for kiteboarding, lighter riders, same thing, gonna be awesome. The smaller sizes for kiting, you know, are kind of finally that fast wing for go foil that you can kite with. So if you're somebody that does surf and prone and then also kites or, or does winging and kiting, um, now you can share you know, your foil mast and, and stabilizers and fuselages and such um, in the GoFoil system, whereas before they're kind of, you know, surfy, they're a surfy brand, so they didn't have a ton of great kite options, um, which these are, so that's awesome. Um, getting into the P180, um, this is their highest aspect wing that they make. As you can tell, it is very blady very high aspect, super flat, just a little bit of anhedral curve, really thin. This wing is really designed for maximum efficiency. Um, so it's gonna get you up, allow you to build speed, allow you to keep that speed as long as possible with minimal input. So really, if you're looking to get the maximum glide and ride for your energy level, um, like you have in, in dock starting, like you have in pumping tricks um, or downwind racing, this is the trick. Minimal drag, maximum glide. Um, what I would say is, you know, for new riders, this wing requires a little bit more time on the water to get used to it. It's definitely a finesse type of a wing. Uh, it's gonna require a specific cadence, a specific type of pumping to be really successful. You can't just go out there and flail and pump at different cadence and in different depths and expect it to be successful. Nope, this is this is kind of, you know, wait till you're intermediate to grab this wing and be successful with it. Um, and I should also note, it's an awesome wing for wing foiling. It's super efficient, carries a ton of speed, glides for days. Um, it just lacks a little bit of that low end lift and directional stability that the NLs have. Um, so that's the reason why I prefer the NLs just a little bit more uh, for wing foiling. So that's that. As I mentioned, I'm doing mostly wing foiling with these when I'm testing them these days, and that's really where I found them to, to fit in my quiver the best. Um, I have been using the GoFoil pedestal mount for the stabilizer. This is the nine and a half, and this is my kind of go-to stabilizer mount uh, for GoFoil. They make a six and a half that mounts upside down. It's a little bit shorter. Um, I tend to ride that one kiting 
uh, prone surfing on their smaller wings but not necessarily on their bigger wings. You lose low end, you lose glide when you go to a shorter stabilizer uh, pedestal. So for me, this is plenty short. I can still do all the turns I wanna do um, and it, it maintains that glide and ease of use for me. Um, so that's what I'd recommend for most of you on the, on the bigger wings, especially if you're wing foiling or paddle boarding. Um, I've been riding them on the 18 flat predominantly. I have been using the 14 and a half flip tip and the 17 and a half flip tip with them a little bit in my testing as well. Um, but one or two of you jerks out there bought them out from under me. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, but for real, you bought them and I, I had to let go of my demos. Um, so until we have more of those, um, the flat 18 works amazing, um, especially for wing foiling. It's got your biggest uh, stabilizer and going to create the most lift at the low end, the most stability, and maintain the most glide um, at, at your average speeds. Um, so for me at 195 pounds, this is a really good go-to. 17 and a half is real close to, really good too. Um, then on, on something like the 190, in a higher speed day, you know, the 14 and a half is a nice little upgrade, especially if you're gonna be doing some hard banking turns and powerful swell. Um, so that's that. These have uh, been the GoFoil NL series and P series. Just to give you a couple of final looks here. This is the 180 over the 190 here. Just so you can get kind of a peek at it. And how they're different in terms of how the, the surface area is laid out and their aspect ratio, but then also the thickness slightly thicker on the NLs, still very slim. And then we'll look at thickness on these. That's 180 over 120 there, or 220 there. So again, very, very slim, very fast wings. And these are for you guys that wanna take your riding to that next level, go a little faster ride with more with more speed and glide and efficiency um, so if you're looking to upgrade your gofoil's performance or step into gofoil as a system we can set you up with a complete kit uh, just give us a ring at the shop jump on chat send us an email comment in the section below and uh, we'll get a hold of you take care of business um, so as with all of our videos if you like the video give us a thumbs up share it with a friend subscribe to our channel for more awesome content if you have any questions, comments, maybe you've ridden these or seen people ride them, comment in the section below, let us know what you think, and we will uh, take a read at that and, and respond if, uh, if it needs responding to. This has been Tucker with mattkiteboarding.com, and we'll talk to you next time.